Hi, my name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of ways how to convert a monophile to a stereophile and vice versa. Let's go! There are a couple of reasons why you would want to convert a stereo track to mono or the other way around. For example, if you want to use stereo music in a mono podcast. I already loaded in a stereo music track. Let's have a listen. Now there are two ways to convert this to mono. For the first option go to Edit, Convert Sample Type or hit Shift T. A window will open where you can change the sample rate, the bit depth and the channels. Just choose mono from the drop down, click OK and here we go. Both channels are processed into one mono track. Let's have a listen again. Okay, sounds different, right? Before we convert this back to stereo, let me show you option 2. I'll just undo the conversion we just did and now we have the original stereo file back. Go to Favorites, Convert to Mono and boom. There is the mono track again. Pretty easy. Keep in mind that when you convert stereo to mono and save the file, you will lose the stereo data for good and you will never get it back. You simply can't get a true stereo file from a mono track. That said, you can however create a fake stereo file from a mono file. And here's how to do that. First just do the reverse of what we just did. Go to Convert Sample Type and choose Stereo under Channels or simply go to Favorites, Convert to Stereo. Now you get two separate channels again, but they are exactly the same and the file still sounds like mono. To create the illusion of stereo, you can go to Effects, Delay and Echo, Delay. As you can see, you can set different delay values for the right and left channel. Feel free to play around with the settings to find a result that works best with your specific file. To make things quick, I start with a preset called 100 milliseconds delay on left and change the delay time to 10 milliseconds. That's it. Now you have a fake stereo file. As a little bonus tip, you can also separate a stereo track into two different mono files, one for each channel. Just right click the file and choose extract channels to mono files. Now you have new mono files for the right and left channel. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. And if you're interested in more tutorials and reviews, check out my channel where you can become a better filmmaker with every video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.